Always fresh and a little bit sticky. Keep it locked down, cannabis wiki. We're always fresh and a little bit sticky. The green room on cannabis wiki. Hey everybody, welcome to the green room. We're live from Stoked Cannabis in Niagara Falls, Ontario. Hey D. Hey. I'm excited for our next guest. Yeah that we have met before. That's right. She is the, was the awards girl at Oak Cannabis? Yeah. Or, yeah. Yes, that's yeah. right. And actually brought my award to the restaurant. <laughs> oh, that was the whole thing. <laughs> Kay Parker. Hello, hello. Thanks for having me again. Thank you for being here. Oh Thank gosh, you so much for joining us. And is it Niagara Falls home? Kind of. Kind Niagara of? Niagara on the Lake. Niagara on the Lake. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh. Ooh, <laughs> <beautiful>. <laughs> you know, <Bougie>. <laughs> Oh. oh, you're one of those. So, how did you how did you get into the cannabis space? Like we're seeing you everywhere. everywhere. I know. Like at award shows and at functions and at like how did that happen? It just well, fell into it? I'm a stoner. I'm a stoner. <laughs> no, honestly, I've I've always been in the industry. I've always loved the industry. When it became legalized, I think it was when my brand took off. Then everyone's like, hey, can you model? Hey, can you host? Hey, because that's what I did anyway. Mm -hmm. And because I was so heavily involved as a user in the industry, it was just like the perfect fit. And so now I'm actually doing social media and I manage like, I guess, companies for cannabis. So now people are asking me to go to all the functions and help running and doing all the behind the scenes stuff and being part of the scene. So now I'm it. just completely immersed. And you're a content creator. And I'm a content creator. And you have a, a large following on TikTok. Yeah, I do all right. You do all right. How many, how many views? How many millions of views do you have? I have a bunch of videos that have over like 1.9 million views. Wow. Yeah. Um, I have around like over 160K following on the one platform. But yeah. Good for you. I, I'm super blessed. I like to be authentic. I like to be funny. And I just want to show the lighter side of life. If you have trauma, laugh about it. And just life is not that complicated. And if you're just showing your authentic self and that's all that really matters. Is that how your show Trials and Tribulations came about? Yeah. Just talking about life and your own yeah. life experiences? Oh my gosh. I was going through so much shit, honestly. And I needed an outlet. And therapy is fucking expensive. <laughs> so I created this concept of Trials and Tribulations um, with actually Matt Anthony. Mm -hmm. So he came up to me, sat with me. He's like, what do you want? What is your goal you have this following what are you going to do about it and he was like if you could do anything what would it be and I was like I just want to connect with people I want to do what we're doing now I want to know what makes people happy I want to know how they got to where they are if I can just everybody just love everybody and understand everybody there wouldn't be so much complications with the world you just gotta talk you, you just gotta talk and communicate and just stop being judgmental and hold a safe space where people can feel seen heard and understood and so that's where Trials and Tribulations oh, yeah. came. And I've been doing, I think I'm on like the 72nd episode. Oh, wow. wow. Yeah. And that's not including in person. And it's been fantastic. Wow. Well, you also are an artist, a performer. I am. You do a lot of things more than just your just yeah. award girl <laughs> and TikTok. And yeah. you, would you, if we asked you to sing something for a second, would you or could you? Yeah. Oh, you I could? Will. Yeah. I will. Yay. <laughs> Up in the corner. Yeah. Okay. Do you need a, Do you need bongos? One okay, of our guests. I don't. Is... I don't want to do bongos. But can I just like put background music on so yep. I'm like not totally off key? Sure. Is that yes. cool? Okay. Oh, right. I love that you're gonna sing. And okay. we like your shoes. I know. I gotta have yeah, a diamond. Like okay. So this is Lana Del Rey. I'm obsessed with her. She is like the best. Okay. Okay. So are you though? Pretty great. <laughs> Goddamn man, child. You fucked me so good that I almost said I love you. She's so good. <laughs> you're fun and you're wild. You don't know the half of the shit that you put me through. Your poetry's bad and you blame the news. But I can't change that and I can't change your mood. Uh, uh, yeah, you know, something like that. I don't know. Yeah. Really good. Yeah. I got goosebumps and I was trying not to. <laughs> that was really Stop good. It. Yeah, so I sing a bit. I love yeah. when we have talents on here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that was really good. Thanks. 
Do you sing on your TikTok? Do you sing on your... I do a bit. Um, I used to go live and sing a lot, but t- my TikTok is mostly just for fun. And I'm starting to evolve more of like my kids a little bit. And because TikTok, everybody's kind of coming on it. I feel like TikTok is being more refined. So you either are like, if you're a singer, your TikTok has to be like kind of focused on singing. Right. And I don't really have a niche. So I think what's different about me is that my, all of my content is pretty chaotic, just like my life. And I like it like that. So if I'm in the mood to sing, I'll throw it up. But I might take it down. Just I like, like that. that. I like that. So sometimes it, things are fake. They're super curated and they come across perfect. Yeah. And they come off like not having a niche is a niche. Right. <laughs> right? And like, that's my niche, I guess. Like when you, when, you, when someone says, to, how would you, <laughs> if you're going to introduce yourself, how do you introduce yourself? Kay Parker, what? Like do you say? Yeah. So I guess like I'd be like, Kay Parker singer, mental health advocates. That's a huge thing for me. Woman empowerment. That is a huge thing for me. No offense, men, but like, (laughs) fuck. (laughs) Um, And yeah, content creator. And just, I think those are like my big, big things like and TV personality host, that kind of stuff. I think it's, I I think you're phenomenal and I love watching everything (laughs) and you're busy as hell. Oh my God. You're doing a lot. Plus you have family life. Oh yeah. And I'm a mom. A mom. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. I have children, a a couple of those, yeah. So what do they think of what you do? So do they think mommy's famous? They think I'm so famous and it's hilarious. And they like go to all their friends and like the worst part is like they show their friends like my YouTube channel, my TikTok. I'm like, oh my God, that is not appropriate. Please get off. (laughs) (laughs) But now like that's why I think I've been trying to bring my kids more involved in my TikTok because now my eight-year-old's like, oh, I want to be in it too. And he wears like his sunglasses and like, I do like the karaoke with him. And we have like a lot of fun and just immersing him into it. And now they see me like do auditions for commercials and me booking commercials and I'm doing audition for a TV series and movies. And they're like, my mom's going to be in a movie. My mom's going to be on TV. And they hear me sing and they hear me play piano. And for me, I was raised in a Catholic Christian home nine to five, you're a little girl who sits down and you obey the out. Like, you know what I mean? That was how Seen I was and not raised. Heard. Seen and not heard. And you do it the one way. And I want to raise my children the exact opposite. If they want to do it that way, do it. But then there's, there's way of C and D and E. And I want to show them the diversity of life. And their dad is very straight and narrow. So oh. they really have that side. So they have that. So I need, I need to give them some like, Sugar. <laughs> they get the sugar for me. They get the if spice. Derek and I wanted to make viral content. What, yes. How, what advice would you give us? How would we, <laughs> what would we do that would go viral? How, what, what could we make that would engage our audience? Okay, well, you're you. So you're already fabulous. You look the part, so that helps. Thank you. So with viral, I always say it's getting that sound that's trending. Pay attention to trending sounds and you have to make sure you're doing the sound at the appropriate time. Everyone's like, oh, get the sound while it's early. No, you don't want it early because if you're too early, then it's not going to pop off. You have to get it in like a really unique space where it's just new, but still like, on the. you know what I'm like when it's starting to get momentum or something. Yeah. When When you see like a lot of people doing it. And it started to like, and you're like, oh my gosh, this person's posting it. Then you post it. But I know TikTok, they're like, hi, we're like TikTok creators and like get this trend and try it. I'm like, no, because that means it's going to be there. So I actually add that song to favorites and I hold on to it and I wait like a day for it to like build Build up up. and I just watch it and I see how many. So if you actually go to the sound, you can see how many videos are being used. So say you see at 10 o'clock, the sound is starting to trend and a hundred videos are playing. Great. Hold on. And that noon, you're like 12,000. You're like, all right, it's time for me to go. Right. But if it's like 150, now you got some time to go. Right. So monitor how sounds are actually how taking they're being, off. How they're, they're jetting. Oh, yeah. I like that. I and like- that's like a key that nobody really understands because yeah. everything's patterns, right? Right. And algorithm is huge. And the second thing is, is make sure it's part of your niche. Because if it's so out of your way, then right, the AI the isn't even going to like right. understand why you're creating it. They're going to be like, cool. So how you said, how do you explain yourself? How do you explain yourself? Ugh. If you want a viral video, it better be something that... Sexy and rock and roll and cannabis. Exactly. And- 
a little out there, a little edgy, a little out there, a little edgy. And then when it balances with trending sounds and something that reflects authentically with you, then you're going to take off, make your captions captivating, get like one of the things that, um, my first viral video is like, um, oh, I'm going to pull it up. It's like, but I did a really captivating comment. So when I posted it, it pissed a lot of men off, which is exactly what I wanted. So when I, <laughs> oh, because some content creators that came on today said you want controversy. Yes. You want so my create. very first viral video was 1.7 million. And the top of it says it's very rare for a man to make me speechless. Okay. Come on. You know, that's going to piss off all the men. And I, my content is 80% men. So now I have 80% of my target audience. That's like, oh. I got to click it. Yeah, exactly. What do you mean? What do you mean? You, it takes, I, and then their ego comes out. And I love that. Cause I was like, show me what you got. Come on, keep on <laughs> clicking, keep on sharing. And then the controversy is great. It's those captions. Prove me. That wasn't Prove your first video though. That was your first viral video. That was video. my first viral video. So you but before to- that, it, I was still getting like 20,000 views right from the get go, 60,000 views, 50,000 views. I've always had really strong views in the beginning, but I also started TikTok when it first came out. Right. And then I stopped for a very long time. And then I went back in because I was just bored with a bunch of kids and I was just having fun with it. But that was, I think, what made it so great is nobody was on it. Right. And there was no, there's not as much competition, right. I would say. And it was just purely, I did it for fun. Now, because so many businesses are using it, it's making so much money. Now it's like, you have to post this many TikToks a day and you have to go on live this many times. And now it's becoming more of like a job. Oh, right. And I love TikTok and like, I can't say anything bad about it. If it wasn't for TikTok, I wouldn't be where I am today. A hundred percent. And there's so many positive things about TikTok. It's just that now because it's so popular, again, the algorithm, everything's changed about it. So you just have to really, apps want you to use it as much as possible. So Instagram, they want you to use all the features. They right. want you to be on it as much as possible. Yep. The more you're on an app, the more they're going to promote you. Simple as that. What's the best thing that TikTok brought to your life? And what's the worst thing that TikTok brought to your life? Oh my gosh. The worst thing that TikTok brought to my life is that my ex-husband loves to use that against me in court. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no, no, no. But like, <laughs> that's your story. <laughs> no, um... One of, joking aside, the that is probably the biggest downfall is that... Privacy? It's the privacy. Um, is that people will look at my content and they'll take that as reality. And I'm not saying all of my stuff is a facade, but it is, I'm a content creator. Right. Like there's a photo of me wrapped around in like $50,000 worth of Louis Vuitton. I don't have $50,000 worth of Louis Vuitton. I wish I do. I own a couple of things, but, it was but a, it, it that's was what I mean. It's art for a picture. And it's art for a picture. So just because I post something, it doesn't make it true. That's right. yeah. And that was like the biggest thing. So when people look at you, they automatically judge you based on their perception of what they see in your videos. So a lot of people, when they meet me in person, they're like, whoa. I thought you were something completely different. That's, I can completely relate to this conversation. Yeah. So that is, I think the hardest thing for me. The, the privacy. The privacy and people, the judging, but it's just like. And the best thing? The best thing is that I am where I am today. And it finally brought me to the realization that this is what makes me happy. Being here with you guys, this is what makes me happy. Modeling, singing, following my passions knowing that there is a different way of doing things and that I didn't have to stay complacent. I didn't have to stay at the nine to five. I didn't have to stay at the job because it had benefits and a pension and I made 20 something dollars an hour. There's other ways for you to succeed. And I think it gave me that empowerment to be like, Hey, I can follow my dreams. And I do have something unique and special because look, I have over 160,000 people that think so. That's, that's a lot. We, we've said that, you know, we look at it as numbers and likes and follows. Think of that as person people I, I can fill bodies. an entire football stadium yeah and that was i think somebody told me they're like if you were at a football stadium every single seat would be filled and that kind of made me want to vomit and i was like <laughs> whoa because i never thought about it like that yeah and then once i realized that that's how many people watched me that's when it really hit like okay it's my job to use it for good right. how am i supposed to like if i have that many people watching how can i make the world a better place what's next for you 
Oh man. So I'm in this really new thing where I just let the universe take the wheel. I love that you said that. Oh yeah, man. I'm I just... have no plans. I have on my 32nd birthday, a lot has happened to me recently. And I just, over the past three years, I let go. On my 32nd birthday, I let go. I gave up control. And I know that I'm abundant. And I know all the positive things about me. And I know I'm going to get what I want. So I'm just going to allow the universe to bring it to me. Bring it to you. Just allow it. What's our attract? Attract. Is that what they say? You're yeah, just I manifest. Attract. You I manifest attract. and attract. I feel it. I know it. And it's going to come at the divine timing. And I'm so excited for what it does. How, and it already is. How can our viewers and our listeners find you? Uh, Instagram, uh, Kate Parker Official. TikTok, at uh, Kate Parker Official. But yeah, that's where you can find me. And where, where's your preferred place to be found? <laughs> <laughs> Either or, honestly. Do we slide into your DMs on Instagram? In DMs. <laughs> uh, Instagram and TikTok are equally awesome. So, All right. Yeah. Cool. Well, thank you for joining us. Thanks for yeah. having me. Yeah, thanks, Kate. Thanks for joining us at Stoked Cannabis in Niagara Falls, Ontario. Had a really fun day. Long day. <laughs> it's been really fun. Lots of interesting chats. This beautiful story. Derek? Boom. Peace. <laughs> We're always fresh and a little bit sticky. The Green Room on Cannabis Wiki.